Hi, I'm Heather Bell. I'm one of the registered dietitians at Counseling and Nutrition Center 360. And today I want to talk about why clinicians and clients might consider open weighing. The first, and maybe most important, is that it honors body autonomy, that there is no sense for the client that information is being withheld um, by their team, that there's any kind of power differential. Another reason that somebody might consider doing open weights is so that um, they have a chance to do some exposure work. They have a chance to experience the anxiety, build some skills around how their brain responds to that. Um, and as a result, over time, they have a different reaction to seeing that number. Many clients may also find that if they are being um, weighed and they know what their weight is, it decreases their body checking, that otherwise they would be doing um, a lot of sort of using furtive techniques um, to, to assess how their body is changing. Whereas if the information is shared on a regular basis with an opportunity to process it, somebody gets feedback about how their body is responding to the ongoing recovery experience, um, and there's no need for them to be uh, checking otherwise. Thirdly, I think that there's the opportunity for integration that instead of it being a, a single number where the eating disorder is kind of providing all of the framing um, for what that number means, there's a chance for the number to be explored in the context of what somebody's noticing behaviorally, what's happening with their vitals, what's happening with their, um, with their lab work. So that again, in processing it with the doctor or the dietitian or their therapist, there's this additional context in which clients can make connections between how their body is responding um, to how they're taking care of it, um, but also to explore and, and evolve the meaning of that number. So these are some reasons why clients and clinicians might consider open weights.